We started using the portable system in the lab a few years ago. At first, we just used it to kind of do some cursor control and uh, draw. Okay, so we're just gonna check out signal quality. In order to train a decoder, I watch the computer move a cursor to different targets. When it's moving to those targets, I just think about moving my own arm in those directions. It looks at the neural signals when I'm moving those directions and it basically figures out what I'm intending uh, to do. And then I can move on to doing whatever I want to do with it. So Nathan is controlling the solitaire game with his brain by imagining moving his hand, imagining grasping his hand to click or unclick. Um, so this was trained using a cursor task and recording from the neurons in his motor cortex. This can be used for a bunch of tasks like painting as well to make art, as well as it can be mapped to key presses for playing um, some arcade style video games and just many activities you might do on a computer. Having the ability to do that in uh, you know some manner that is you know, portable, it's not in a lab, taking up a whole wall full of computers and, you know, it's it's really simple to run um, by yourself. So I think that kind of thing could really change someone's life. Mm -hmm.